Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Love Will Tear Us Apart, a Japanese horror movie from 2023. This one flew completely under my radar. The only reason I know it exists is because I frequently do random Google searches for like Asian horror movies and I'll type in a year. So I think I typed in Asian horror movies 2023 and this popped up. So let's take a look. The following plot synopsis was taken from the website Movies and Mania. Wakaba Mashita is a young woman grappling with her traumatic past. As she ventures into new romantic relationships, she realizes she is being followed by a relentless, masked murderer. This mysterious killer targets anyone who dares to get close to her, turning her quest for love into a fight for survival. That's a pretty interesting premise. But the opening scene of the movie is seemingly unconnected to the actual plot synopsis. It involves a mother and a daughter who are dealing with a verbally abusive father in their home. And then afterward, the little girl goes to school and witnesses a bullying event, during which she helps out the little kid who's getting bullied, who has a dodgy home life of his own. And we get some bonding between the kids after all these events occur. So during these opening scenes, I was wondering, like, how this would become a horror movie. Or perhaps the plot synopsis was for a different film that I got mixed up. I was kind of confused, but things clear up by about the 15 minute mark and you get a general idea where the film is going. So after these seemingly separate plots are kind of connected together somehow, the first dose of true horror takes place in a desolate forest area. The first death scene is blackly humorous, but I was unsure if it was intentional. So are we dealing with a horror comedy hybrid here? You know, and uh, there are some fun gore effects and camera work as well during this, I guess, uh, woodland scene in the forest. It blends some CGI and practical effects quite well, I thought. Also, the killer that's introduced wears a metallic mask and goggles, which is pretty cool. Then the story proceeds after this, shifting to different locations and adding side characters along the way. So, this is, this film is a bit odd, and... This is the most important observation I have to make regarding this movie. It's essentially a slasher film, okay? You could classify it as such. And the stories of those kinds of movies can become stale and repetitive if you think of, like, mainstream franchises. But this film, Love Will Tear Us Apart, has a, has a very, like, vibrant storyline that keeps changing things up. And it changes a lot. It almost feels like a different genre of movie based on what section of the film that you're watching. So, you know, it kind of begins as like a childhood drama, then it shifts into a woodland slasher movie, and then shifts to other subgenres, while at the same time kind of infusing horror elements into each section. And I kind of like this. It gave it a different vibe. And yes, there is some intentional black comedy in this peppered in. Um, especially when some socially awkward men show up and they're kind of selling their awkwardness quite uh, uh, emphatically. There's a Google search scene that made me laugh just because of the term that was searched by the character was pretty hilarious. There's an image of a particular kind of food that was amusing and some other nutty stuff is thrown in at times, which I will not spoil. So there's definitely a, a comedic aspect to the film as well. Now the death scenes and the stalker set pieces are pretty fun to watch, I think. And um, they have a nice variety to them too. Probably because the film changes things up so much. There are some corpse shots that were effective. Uh, most of the death scenes are actually shown though. And they have a nice uh, variety, as I said. Now in terms of gore, you get that mix of like practical and CGI together, which I do think works well. It has some energy and the deaths are satisfying, but I don't think this is like... This is not elite slasher movie fare. You know, this isn't like Terrifier or like anything like that where you're like blown away by the effects. But it's effective enough. Cinematography and lighting are nice for a low-budget flick. There's atmospheric use of color at times. Some of the music has a synth vibe to it, which I liked. Runtime is 1 hour and 26 minutes long, which makes this pretty easy to sit through. Again, given the... Uh, the, the the uh, fluid plot line as well helps. Now, the director is a man by the name of Kenichi Ugana, who also directed Visitor's Complete Collection from the same year, 2023. I blind bought that movie on Yes Asia with no subtitles, and 
Uh, I showed it in one of my recent Asian movie collection videos. Some people disliked it. Uh, I think I got some comments saying that they did not like the film, but I thought it was watchable as a quirky horror comedy. So this director is kind of a newer name on the horror front, and Love Will Tear Us Apart gives me some hope that he's got some entertaining stuff up his sleeve in years to come. So if you're, uh, I'd say this is the film to start with him anyways, Love Will Tear Us Apart. So I, I recommend it. It's, it's a bit different. You know, sometimes for a horror movie, you're tired of, like, the genre stuff where it's just, like, the same thing you've seen before. This dabbles in, in multiple things, and uh, I liked it. It's currently available streaming on YouTube, Tubi, and Amazon, so it's easy to, to get a hold of. Hopefully we get a physical media release at some point. And as always, folks, I'll see you next time.